Egyptian presidency has extended the state of emergency by another month. Last week, a woman blew herself up in the capital, injuring 15 policemen and five civilians. However, Tunisians have mixed reactions to the government's decision, as CGTN's Adnan Chauchi reports. After meeting with High Security Council, Tunisian President Baji Qadi Sifsi has extended the country's state of emergency. It's been in place since 2015, following terror attacks at the Balder Museum and a beach resort in Sousse. Three years later, authorities say maintaining this state of emergency is a necessary measure. It is the responsibility of the state to guarantee security. The economy won't improve amid turmoil and terror threats. Many members of parliament agree the measure is vital to the stability of the North African state. The state of emergency must last until the next legislative and presidential elections in 2019. The latest suicide bombing in downtown Tunis proves the security situation is still fragile. However, a group of opposition MPs has denounced the decision. They have accused Prime Minister Yusuf al-Shahad of using the state of emergency to arrest businessmen in an alleged crackdown on corruption. The Premier has arrested his main rivals and the businessman who financed the opposition. The post-2011 state of emergency was never meant to silence dissent and empower authorities. The Tunisian Observatory of Rights and Freedoms has also condemned the move. The measures include border controls that restrict the movement of 23,000 citizens. The travel bans are unconstitutional. It is a misinterpretation of the state of emergency. The Interior Ministry has imposed these measures in a discriminatory manner without providing a justification or obtaining a court order. The measures have negatively affected individuals' livelihoods and have resulted in arbitrary arrests and short-term detentions. Since 2011, thousands of Tunisians have joined terrorist organizations, including ISIL in Syria and Iraq. Security experts assert that the authorities need to maintain the state of emergency to foil attempted attacks and to arrest ISIL members who have entered the country from Libya. According to the Ministry of Justice, at least 1,300 people have been arrested on terror charges since 2013. Adnan Shabashi, CGTN, Tunis.